All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be showcasing the brand new LR full power Jiren at rainbow status here on the JP side of the game. I'm super, super stoked for this one guys cause um, he is definitely a contender, definitely a contender for the best unit in the entire game. And I know I say that quite a bit, but uh, it's almost always true, right? Cause every single time a new LR comes out, they are generally speaking pretty busted and uh, in contention for best unit. So anyways, let's jump into it here. As you can see, man, this guy has some crazy, crazy stats. 21,525 attack, 14,338 defense, and 20,863 HP. All right, so he's starting off with 189,000 defense, guys, before any support are factored in. So almost 200,000 defense right off the bat. And uh, this rotation here, we got the double Jiren. So I'm actually gonna let, I'm actually gonna let the STR Jiren super first so that we can get the ultra super off with the new Jiren. Okay, hold on. Is the new Jiren like super tiny or is that just me? Like Goku looks bigger than Jiren. That's not right. Goku should not be bigger than Jiren. Anyways, aside from the sprite, and, okay, he looks really small. What is up with this? What is going on? Why is Jiren so tiny? Okay, well anyways, regardless of the inconsistencies, um, the STR Jiren is going to super first, which also lowers the enemy Goku's defense. I believe it's defense, right? And that's going to allow Jiren to get attacks effective against all types. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Damn. Yo. <laughs> Yo, 4.7 million for the first attack, and it's a crit, and uh, he's dead. Wow, okay. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, feel like, I feel like I already kind of have an idea of whether or not he's the best unit in the game, just based off that first turn, because not only was it the first turn, it was also without any supports, and he got 4.7 mil, like it was nothing, guys. Like it was casual, like it was like, you know, just any other day, you know, like, like, it, units should not be able to do that. Units should not be able to do that. So, yeah, first turn, before we give him that title, we give him the crown, we do need to see a little bit more, right? We do need to see some supports factored in, some tanking maybe, but I mean, man, this, this is, this is a crazy unit. He doesn't even make sense. This guy doesn't even make sense that he's getting 4.7 million on the first turn without the supports, and now we're getting Topo as a support, guys. We're getting Topo as a support. Um, so let's get let Topo get a super off first so we can increase our attack even further. Yeah, okay, hold on. Oh, so these two Jirens both are around the same size, right? Or I think they are the same size. Maybe, actually, no, I think the old Jiren actually is a bit bigger too. Why is he so tiny? Why is Jiren so tiny? It doesn't make sense. But anyways, full 24 key super. We're getting Topo to super first for that additional attack boost. And also, this is actually kind of a showcase of the EZA Topo. Because with, with, the, with the EZA, Topo is actually getting uh, a good amount of attack boost. There we go, 1.66 mil. Damn, Topo. All right, so this is the EZA Topo, right? But he's also giving 40% attack and defense. 40% attack and defense to the rest or to the entire rotation as a support passive. So, okay, glad he didn't kill him. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, this makes no sense, man. This dude makes no sense. Are you kidding me? Six point, what was that, 6.5 mil? For the second super? And we're not even factoring the the, the, the uh, active skill yet. So wait until the active skill comes in and then uh, we'll see what's up, all right? So the, the next turn is gonna be Topo and Jiren as well as I believe another support, the uh, Pride Troopers. So actually this is, kind of, this is kind of like a triple showcase. It's kind of like a triple showcase. We got the, the Topo EZA, we got the Jiren, we also got the new Int um, Topo slash Pride Troopers as well. So yeah, a ton of new units being used in this video, in this showcase. 
Hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun with this guy right now, man. I mean, I gotta be careful not to die here. I gotta be careful not to die here, because that, that is definitely a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. Okay. So what we need to do is actually get Jiren to take a few hits now. Because uh, we need 5 hits in total to get that active skill. So let's pop him over here. And I would like Topo to super first, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to... Yeah, you know what? Let, let's just put Jiren here because, once again, we need him to take some hits. So our defense is at 214,000 right now. And I still can't get over how tiny he is, but that's not, that's not a big deal. Alright, it's not important. So here we go. I think these are the first two hits Topo's, or not Topo, that uh, Jiren's actually taking, right? 5.28 mil for that super. And you know what? When I first saw the super attack animations, I wasn't like super impressed by it. I was like, it's okay. It looked good, but like not nothing crazy. But it's definitely growing on me, man. I think I think it's definitely, definitely growing on me. Now the issue here, all right, with the legendary Goku events, I'll be straight up right now is that the... Um, oh, let me heal up, actually. Yeah, the issue here is that the enemies can't be stunned, right? So he can't get that part of his passive where he can actually perform guaranteed crits against enemies that are stunned. So that's not a thing here. And really, I mean, realistically, it's not really a thing for any of these new events, right? A bunch of new events these days just can't, you know, the, the enemies can't be stunned. So I think this is actually a pretty realistic representation of, like, what, what you can expect. Right, because if you're taking him on the harder events in this game, you're not going to be able to get the stun. And a lot of times, actually, a lot of enemies can't even have their attack and defense lowered. So he can't even get that effective against all. So right now we can, because in the early stages, the Goku still still can have his attack and defense debuffed. Right, he can still decrease his attack and defense up to, uh, I think up to Super Saiyan 3. So the next stage, the next stage, the Goku, the Godku, will not actually be stunnable. Or be able to, or or we, man, I can't speak right now. Or have his attack and defense lowered, so he's not going to be as effective, but still very much effective, right? He's still going to be really, really good. It's just like he, he's not at his max potential in that case. All right, so we're taking some more hits. His active heal will be active next turn. And uh, we should be able to pop that, see what happens there. Now, unfortunately, this Goku is going to die because uh, that's just how Jiren does. That's just how he is. Nobody survives that. Yo, we, we literally have killed the enemy with all three supers that Jiren has performed. And unfortunately, in this round, um, like I said, the Goku can't actually, the Godku can't actually be uh, stunned or debuffed. So that kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay, let me just pop the Ghost Hesher so that we can ensure that this turn doesn't get screwed. I think we, we, I think we would have been okay anyways, but just be safe, right? It's better to be safe than sorry. Let's just, I just pop that. It's okay. And... Man, I don't have much else to say, honestly. Like, this Jiren is so freaking impressive, man. Um, I was expecting some big numbers, but I think... He kind of blew those expectations out of the water. And uh, I'm excited for this active skill, man. Let's see what this active skill can do for his damage output as well. And for his tanking too. I mean, we haven't seen too much tanking aside from the fact that he basically just doesn't take damage right now. But I'm sure a super here will still hurt a bit. It should still hurt a bit. Okay, so let's pop that active skill. You guys enjoy. And... Uh, by the way, it does... Okay, so I'll tell you guys what it does. Essentially, you can pop the active skill when he takes 5 attacks or more. And he gets attack and defense plus 30% for one turn. And stuns all enemies. And then all enemies attack and defense minus 30%. But unfortunately, for this Goku, he can't be debuffed. Like I said many times, can't be debuffed and also can't uh, be stunned. So that's not going to be a thing. But either way, we did get a pretty significant attack and defense boost. And our defense is up to 303,000. And then we'll give a couple orbs to these guys. And uh, show us what you can do, man. Show us what you can do. We're getting super here. I'm not too concerned, though. Because I'm pretty sure he'll tank this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he tanked that for 35. And our attack's up to 7.6 million. Now, once again, if the enemy 
wasn't this guy, and let's say it was another guy that could actually be stunned, or have, or be debuffed, then we would have most likely seen something like, you know, uh, I don't know, like a huge crit, because obviously he would perform that guaranteed critical, or if the enemy couldn't be stunned but could still be debuffed, we would, we would have at least had attacks effective against all, which once again, isn't a thing here. But uh, yeah, that's the Jiren right there, guys. That is the LR full power Jiren for you. Definitely a very, very impressive unit. Um, what I will say is I don't know if I'm ready to give him the title of best unit in the game yet. All right, all right, I don't want to throw that around too much, so I'll have to think about it a bit, but he's definitely up there. He's definitely up there. He's definitely in contention, no question, right? Like, I, I, feel, I feel like he's at least in the top three, top five, something like that. But damn, man. Ah, oh, crap, okay. So we're gonna have to give this one to the STR Jiren, which is very unfortunate. Oh, I feel, oh, dude, what, 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 what just happened? What just happened? I swear I clicked them. Okay, that was a thing. Anyways, uh, like I said, I'm undecided, undecided. But you guys, let me know what you think. All right, as far as the, as far as the uh, debate goes, the rankings go, is he now the best unit in the game to you, or do you still give that title to one of the Blue Fusions or LRUI Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and Super Saiyan Kalkin Goku? Let me know, man. Is this the best unit in the game now? The century, the age-old question. <laughs> Um, you know, is he the best in the game now, or is that somebody else? Uh, you know, let me just move Jiren here, because I want to see him tank a little bit. 214,000 defense still, and uh, here we go. Full 24k super once again. Should be uh, pretty decent. Should be pretty decent. Okay, so we're not taking damage there. And we're getting 5.4 million, 5.4 million attack. So that's pretty much around what you can expect without the active skill. Um, actually, I, put, I should have put Jiren in the front, or sorry, the Topo in the front, for him to launch a couple supers first, and then we can get even more attack. But I was actually kind of concerned that Topo wasn't going to be able to tank too well. But uh, he's he's. He's looking pretty good here, man. Yo, <laughs> Tofu is a god, man. I mean, yeah, she is, right? He is a god of destruction. So I guess that statement was a bit redundant. But he, yo, like, like just as a unit, he's amazing. He's so good. I would, I would say, I would go as far to say that overall, as like an overall unit, he's the best support in the game. I know that Kid Buu gives actually more like support, you know, at full potential uh, or like at, at max HP. But first of all, Topo has the cons has consistent support the entire time, right? He doesn't lose like any support if you fall below a certain level of HP. But also, you have to factor in the tanking, man. Topo can do some really, really good tanking when you're below 70% HP. So I'll show you guys right now. Um, I'm gonna just keep us at this HP level. I'm not gonna heal up or anything like that because I want to show you guys that Topo. It's actually a very good tank, right? When you when you need him to be. So here we go. Man, I really wish this Goku could be stunned. Like uh, any of these Gokus, right? I wish they could be stunned. I wish that like on the later stages you could still debuff him just so we can see more, you know, from uh, the Jiren and stuff like that. But I mean, like I said, this is realistic, right? Like a lot of these new enemies these days just straight up cannot be stunned. Right? They straight up cannot be debuffed they can't lose HP or attack and defense so you know that's just that's just how it is that's just how it is okay so Topo has 114,000 defense and he does have the uh, latter part of his passive active where he will get uh, get 40% damage reduction so we shouldn't be hit, get, getting hit too hard yep 95 21 there you go there you go. What was he taking before? Like 20, 25,000 per normal? Now it's double digits, man. It went from 25,000 to double digits. Obviously, damage here is not going to be that impressive because uh, of the type disadvantage. But uh, yeah, defensively, like if you if you factor in the tanking, you factor in everything else about the unit, I think Topo is actually a better support just overall, a better unit 
that also supports compared to Kid Buu. That's just me. That's just my personal opinion. You guys can say what you want. You guys can, you guys can have your own opinions as well. It's cool. But uh, that's just how I feel. Alright, so let me pop that. And let's actually use an Icarus as well real quick. And you know what? Once Jiren comes back, that's going to be the last turn of this showcase. Because there's nothing really else to say. Alright, nothing really else to see. Jiren is awesome. LR Full Power Jiren is awesome. Um, he's just very impressive in all aspects. From damage, to defense, to... Uh, I mean, animations, once again, are growing on me, so I like those too. But, you know, I, I, once again, you know, I'm not sure if it's if, if I can call him the best unit in the game, right? Super Saiyan Blue Kakan Goku and uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, still there. Blue Fusion, still there. Uh, LRUI Goku, still there. I mean, they're all contenders, so it's a tough call, man. It's a tough call, but, I mean, regardless of whether or not he's the best, He's amazing. He's awesome. All right. It's like it's the combination of the offense and defense that really gets me. And uh, I was not really like super overly hyped for this unit before, but now I definitely am. Now I definitely, definitely am, for sure, no question. All right. I know I'm, I'm gonna leave Topo here because I trust him, and I want him to boost our attack a little bit more. So there we go. And we shouldn't actually. Oh. We healed back up, but I don't think that's going to be an issue because I'm pretty sure it's based on our starting HP, right? So Topo should still, yeah, Topo should still do the have that damage reduction, even though we healed back up above 70% HP. Yeah, yeah, okay, we do, we do. Okay, we're good. <laughs> For a second, I was like, yo, am I screwed? Am I screwed? We're fine though. And okay, we're up to 6.15 with the support from the from the Kale. And that's it, guys. That's that's going to be show the showcase today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Jiren, where you rank him in your best units, you know, list or rankings or whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's it, guys. Until next time, hope you guys... Uh, ooh. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Uh, until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And oh, I forgot to say... If you like today's video, right? If you like the video, if you enjoyed the Jiren Showcase, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.